Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupitergym.com. I'm at my live active blog, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team. Before we get started, I want to show you a blog post. It says how to add H2H3 tags to blog posts for SEO. You can also add H1 tags using the exact same principle, and you can use that not only on posts but on pages, and that may apply to this video that I'm going to show you right now. Uh, the other thing I want to show you before we get started is I would recommend that you sign up now to get this free book on SEO, another 17-page blog report that's extremely helpful, SEO videos, and you'll receive about one or two blog posts, usually with videos, in your email inbox once or twice per week. And that's at Jupiter Jim's marketing team. You can see the URL right up there. Okay, so let's go to my blog. I'm at my demonstration blog. It's called Jim's Max GXL Marketing Team. And what I'm going to show you how to do is remove the titles on certain pages. Not every page, just certain page. So we're at the vacations page. And you can see right now it says vacations in Florida. I got a certain size font and everything. Um, and I just think this looks kind of goofy up there and I want to get rid of it. Okay. And for whatever reason, I also want to get rid of, I'm not done with the about page. So I want to add a picture and some stuff here. And this little about thing in the upper left-hand corner looks kind of dumb. And I want to get rid of that, so I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing you're going to need to use is some code. And you can find this code at my blog, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team. That's my WordPress blog. The easiest way to remember how to get there is just remember jupiterjim.com. And once you go to that HTML site, there'll be a link to my WordPress site, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team, and look for a blog post that has something to do with removing the page title from pages, certain pages, etc. Okay, so this is the code that we'll be using right here. And we need a, it says right here there's page one, page two, and page three right there. So we want to put some numbers in there to represent those pages. So how do we figure out those pages? Okay. We're at the demonstration blog, Jim's Max GXL Marketing Team. I'm going to click on this tab in my browser where I've already logged into Jim's Max GXL Marketing Team. This is the browser. I'm going to click on Pages. Okay, now for the About page right here, um, I'm going to mouse over that. And when I mouse over that, if you will look way down here on the left-hand corner of your browser, Okay, you're going to see a URL with a number. Let me show you and then I'll highlight it. So just mouse over the page and the last number to the right. The last number on the right hand side, right there, the number is 2. There's an ampersand right next to it, but the number is 2. Okay, that represents this page about, according to WordPress. So for P1, for page 1, I'm just going to put in the number 2. Okay, now the other page is the vacation page. Once again, just mouse over the vacations page, look down at the bottom of your browser, lower left-hand corner, and the number that is farthest to the right, which in this case you can see is 302, it's just before that ampersand action, is the number that represents. 302 represents this page vacations, where we want to get rid of the page title. So let's go back to the code right here. And for P2, I think it was 302. I hope I got that right. We don't want to do a third page, so we're going to just delete that. Now, if you say you just wanted to take the, um, well, let's get rid of that last comma too. Let's just say, so this is going to remove the title of two pages for the thesis theme in WordPress. If you just wanted to do one page, you would just delete that and that's all you would do. We want to do two, so I'm putting the two back in there. Uh, there is a little bit more elegant way to do it for one page, so you don't have to use this array variable thing, but the other way is to, like I said, just put one number in and it seems to work fine for me. Okay, so we're going to go here. We're going to highlight this. Like I said, this code is going to be on my blog and a blog post. Control C to copy, Command C if you're on a Mac. That's just copying it. We're back in the dashboard. Go to Thesis, go to Custom File Editor, Custom, that brings us, there it is, Thesis Custom File Editor, Custom CSS, that's not what we want to work with. We want to work with custom functions.php. That old stuff is just because this is a demonstration blog. Don't worry about that. You're not going to see that. Custom functions.php. Click Edit Selected 
file, you get this very scary pop-up menu, this yellow, I, I should say, sign or whatever. Uh, pay attention to that. You really, 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 really need to back up this custom functions.php file, which is the one we're working in right now, where your whole blog site can go white, and it can be a very ugly experience. I show you how to back up the custom underscore functions.php file in another video tutorial on my blog. So just go down to thesis tutorials and look up custom functions.php, and I'll show you how to do that using FileZilla. Okay, so we're here. We're just going to scroll to the very bottom. Okay, that's as simple as that. The bottom of whatever you're using, usually everything should be fine. Um, doesn't matter what the code is above it. Control V, like Control Victor to paste. Command V if you're on a Mac. And there's the code that we just pasted in. There's the two page numbers right there. There's the 302 and the 2. Click that big green save button. Bada boom. Going to go back up here. Let's go to the about page. Let's go back there or just hit refresh and you can see the about in the title is gone it was just right above that text it's now gone let's go to vacations we're on vacations you can see that up here okay so I'm gonna scroll down vacations in Florida I got rid of the title that's really all there is to it if you like it click the like button leave a comment on YouTube or my blog uh, share with friends family and loved ones on Facebook Twitter stumble upon LinkedIn take care have a great day and hope to hear from you soon bye bye